Hi everyone, Amy Love here, and I'm coming on today to share with you this adorable <laughs> clutch that I created using the digitals from Ooh La La Vintage Treasures on Etsy. And this is her um, Pink Parfait Cafe Clutch Kit, and I just was loving it. So I'm going to start by saying I tried to do some craft with me's <laughs> on this thing, and you know, sometimes your mojo isn't going when you want it to, and I just couldn't like get in the groove. So I turned off my camera and then I played with it some more and then I got in the zone and forgot to turn the camera back on. So that's, <laughs> that's how that goes, <laughs> but it's really cute. And I, I'm going to, I'm going to show it to you in detail. So this, um, I printed out this beautiful, look at this beautiful, I actually printed this one out on paper and the inside lining I uh, printed out on uh, cardstock. And then I covered it with this beautiful fabric, which I only have little snippets left of uh, from Angel Dream Crafts. And she does have uh, this in the shop right now. So I'll put a link below to Angel Dream Crafts and to uh, Ooh La La Vintage Treasures so you can go get some of the goodies. So then um, the base is laid out. The inside lining I used is kind of laid out where you can see where you could fold it into three folds if you wanted to use it to make a folio. So I did that and then I, um, I added a little space in here with, um, I don't have the words right now, my bone folder and my <laughs> whatever. I can't, I don't remember what it's called scoreboard thank you goodness I should have finished my cup of coffee before I did this video so I used my scoreboard uh, to score it so that it would have more room instead of just folding it over I wanted it to have more space in there so that's how I did that and then um, I tried to be really careful not to cover up the beautiful paper Edith if you're watching <laughs> because I do have a habit of that um, so I wanted to leave the back uh, where you could see that paper because it is absolutely gorgeous and I'm, I'm thinking about printing um, some more of that out and making some tags out of it. Here's a piece of it right here. It's absolutely gorgeous. Doreen, I love, love this kit so much. So um, on the front, uh, I dangled off some of the beautiful... Uh, pleated tool trim from Angel Dream Crafts and she does have this in several different colors and then I put um, some of the Aurora Borealis rhinestone cup chain across there which is so so pretty then I added one of these hearts from Angel Dream Crafts that I absolutely love and I cut the little flower out of the center and then I made a flower with the um, Art tool fabric and I stuck that on there and then this is a really beautiful piece from the kit I don't have any more of them out here but I love it so I glossy accented the pearls and then I stickled up the glittery parts it's so cute so cute and then I cut up an applique from Kim's store and I put a piece here and I put um, this flower as part of that applique and I put that applique kind of wrapping around. So that's that. And this is another piece of the applique covering up where I put the sorry silk tie closure. And then I popped in one of these adorable hearts from the kit. So cute. And I did ink it up a little bit. Um, the ink I used on this was the tea stain. I think that's what it's called for distress ink in tea tea dye and then um, I used a little safety pin to put on one of these uh, floating heart charms from Kim's shop and another piece from the uh, digital kit which is so cute and I just love it dangling there and then I made a lace bow and I popped on this beautiful Eiffel Tower bling that I have had in my stash for a while and I don't remember which friend gave it to me, but thank you for sharing. <laughs> I love it. And I felt like this was just the perfect one because this heart says dreaming of Paris and this has a lot of like little French nods. So it's so cute. So I did use um, Sorry Silk for the closure from Kim's shop, but I actually used white. And then I just sprayed it with the sponge sugar distress oxide 
and it gave me this beautiful color. So that's what I did there. And so when you open it up, I just left this where you could see how pretty it was. I put on this beautiful uh, lace from Kim's store, Angel Dream Crafts, and then I also added that to the top. The kit has these adorable little pockets. There's two pockets, so I put one here, and I just love it. And I was going to stickle that up, but I have to tell you, I just love the way that it is. So I left it. Um, I sewed around the edges of it, and I inked the edges, but I just left it. It's just so pretty. And so this is a, a little card um, from the kit. Isn't it gorgeous? All I did was ink the edges and add a bow because it's so adorable. And of course the bows you can get at Angel Dream Crafts. Lots, she has lots of bows, which makes my heart happy. So that just tucks in there and it's so cute. And then we're gonna open this up all the way. And I'm going to try to show you all the bits. So first I made pockets out of uh, this and this. Now these are uh, in the print, in the um, digital kit. And they were like together on a page. And I was like, man, I think that would make cute pockets. So I cut them down the middle. And I just, you know, followed the lines that Doreen had already put in the digital. And I made these pockets. And then on the back of the pockets, I put this beautiful pink heart lace from angel dream crafts it was the perfect color and it just matched so well you can see it a little bit peeking out of the top of here but you can see it mostly here and i just think it's so cute and then so i put the other pocket that was in the kit right here i snippety snipped some uh i think this was a lace trim from angel from angel dream crafts and then i put another one of um the hearts from the kit, this one says Pink Parfait Cafe, right there. And so um, I just tucked this little piece from the digital kit in there. Isn't it cute? Um, all I did was ink it. It's just adorable. And I love how it's just kind of peeking out right there. And then um, she does have these texts available in the printable too. And so this one says coffee and friends make the perfect blend. And I just kind of popped that right there. And as you can see, I, I did uh, see, I did sew around all the edges of everything because I just, I love it. So it is sewn together. So it's pretty sturdy. So in this pocket, I made this cute little tag. <laughs> with this uh, from the digital kit, Coffee and Pearls, and I stickled the little um, whipped cream dollop <laughs> on the top of that cup because it's just so cute. <laughs> All right, and that just tucks right in there. And then there is this piece from the kit. I love it so much. This just makes me so happy. <laughs> <clears throat> very beautiful Doreen very beautiful and so in the middle I made kind of a, like a little notebook if you will and it, again it says coffee and friends make the perfect blend and I use the beautiful paper to make the cover of the notebook it's just gorgeous and then I used this uh, same lace up here on the edge which is so cute and then another one of those pieces that I adore I just think they're so cute. And there is a piece of, um, this is a lace from Angel Dream Crafts. It is the pink bridal lace. It's so cute. And then um, this is the pink sari silk available at Angel Dream Crafts. I used to tie this guy. And so inside, I did a little stenciling. I love the stencil. I don't, I don't have it out, so I don't remember. Wait, I think it's right here, so I could tell you. Yeah, it's a Tim Holtz. It's so pretty. I love it. So I put that on here, and I'm pretty sure I used the Distress Ink in, um, what's it called? Something Velvet, Victorian Velvet. Isn't that lovely? And then this one says Dreaming of Paris. That's from the kit, and here's a bigger one from the kit, and that pretty. And then this is just full of paper that you can write on all blank pages because I'm trying to use up I have like a giant pile of scrap paper <laughs> so I'm like I need to start using that up so I made just decided to make this cute little notebook that tucks right in here I mean and really I needed those that extra room 
to do that or this would have just been popping at the seams but because I did that it closes up really nicely so I just love how it turned out and Doreen it was so fun to play with I have to tell you I have never made um, a clutch type thing before you know out of paper and um, it was fun I really really enjoyed it so I would love to know what you guys think please leave me a comment and a thumbs up make sure you go follow those links to uh, this beautiful kit and to all these beautiful goodies that I used and uh, I will see you guys on the next one bye everybody